Let me see if I'm going the right way. Okay, I think we're close. Oh, beautiful. We can skip every- Yeah, this is where we felt Trask. Should be coming up. Every single encounter is skippable. Because of how many migrant seals we have. Okay, now is where things get interesting. I think I have to climb this up. It should be like the room before the room, like the room right before the duplicator chest. I think. I think I go up here. And then just this way. I'll take that extra ECN even though I don't need it. Oh, lovely. This should be our booster kit. Booster kit acquired. The booster kit, kit increases the capacity of your ECN gauge by 10. The higher your ECN gauge, the more... Yeah, so this is, this is what I was hoping you could do in Wild Arms 3. And you can increasing the capacity instead of just like the power of your ECN gauge counter or whatever whatever you want to call it like the five that's what I was hoping you can do in three and I'm glad they have it because the capacity is what I really want to increase as well I mean the power is good too because if you have to backtrack a dungeon like skipping encounters is easy but this is what I was hoping increasing ECN would just do off the get-go Now we're done. Nope. My leading here shouldn't be a problem. We don't have to twist these wheels or valves, whatever you want to call them. Valves normally involve like water. I don't know if that's the right word you would use. Well, that's done. Back to Jolly Roger. By the way, have I talked about how I like that everyone has a different colored horse? It's very nice. Hello. Give me a ticket. Midland Station. I think it's Midland. I, I always do that. I always forget you have to manually walk into the train. I just take it as like, oh yeah, I'm already here. Not the case. I'm getting so many text messages. I'm near Jolly Roger now, I think. Yeah. Warp Star is very nice too. I don't want to use those off the bat, but very nice to have them. Save them for like a rainy day or something. Where are you, Jolly Roger? Here you are. If they apparently talk to the Armsmith? Is good because I might actually want to do some upgrading with the armsmith. Hi. 
If you're looking for a ship to cross the dunes in, but you can't find one anywhere, right? Am I right? Today's your lucky day. Why not help me with my research? I'm gonna put together the strongest, most cutting-edge sandcraft ever. What do you think? This baby's cutting-edge and high-speed sandcraft technology. A conventional sandcraft generates so much friction that the sand cuts into the hull. This number packs a solid load of armament while making huge advances in overall speed and durability. She's my answer to all the hurdles confronting further development of the technology. But of course, I had to skimp a little on the weapon to finish her and her drive data, data's blank. I need 15 more dragon fossils to finish her Cassis. All you have to do is go get them, just promise to record her drive data and she's yours. Sounds like a great deal to me, what do you say, dragon fossils for a sandcraft? That's what I wanted to hear. Actually, I had taken out a loan on dragon fossils to make the part I needed. Now I can pay the loan sharks and sleep soundly for once, so the sandcraft is yours. Remember, you have to get on and off at the sandcraft at the beach. One more thing, you'll have to tough, tough time fighting dune monsters with her current armaments. Be sure to save your game before you head out. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> what would happen if you didn't have dragon fossils? I mean, dragon fossils come up a lot in the game. But still, there's always the possibility that the player doesn't have it. Wait, what does this do? Wait, not, not sell. Oh, this is how you get inside of parts? Am I playing Skies of Arcadia now? In Skies of Arcadia, you like got to- there were these things called ship battles. Which, it's exactly what it sounds like, a battle with- battle between ships. And you would upgrade your ships with cannons and stuff? This is very Skies of Arcadia. Okay. Well, set. I mean, like, I'll, I'll keep whatever default. Select crew? I'm gonna assume this is all the default, just the best way to put it. How about my arm? Maybe I can upgrade some arms here. Your attack is pretty high up there. I'm gonna give you another hit. Give you one more bullet. Hey, fully upgraded. Reach upgrade level 15. Oh, is that 15 between all of these? That's super neat. Initialize. Can you reset points? Is that what this means? I'm not gonna do that until I know that's what it means, but that's cool. I got another silver trophy for it. Give you some weight. Clive is really low on weight. I don't even want to bother with Gallows' arm. Unless it's for a trophy. Like, I literally don't even want to bother with it. Gallows is, like, never shooting. Maybe I should a little bit in case an enemy, like, resists magic. But for the most part, upgrading Gallows' arm seems worthless. I'm just focusing on, like, Virginia, Clive, and Jet more than anything. Alright, well... We got the Sandcraft. There is... Do I have any Dark Wards? I don't think I have any Dark Wards. I have Dark Rain. Actually, I didn't even look at personal skills. Oh, you have Dark Ward there. There's an optional dungeon available right now. I'm debating if I want to do it. I probably do. Find the garden, get on a horse, jump the gorge near the Midland Station Railroad track, search among the East Verder to find the tiny hideaway house. And there's no special requirement. There can be, like, we can just find this place right now. This is near Midland, right? Yeah. Oh, I'm down to do this optional dungeon. Hopefully it's not, like, too hard. I should have healed, actually. I could have got more ECN. I don't know exactly where this is, but we're so strong, I could skip, like, all these encounters. But I'm not too worried about it. 
this is Midland? This is Midland and I know where to go. F13's hard. Was hard for me, excited to see what you think of it. I'm excited to play it. I don't know when I'll play it, but it's like the only mainline I haven't played, so. I honestly wish they would port it. It's on X, it's like, it's like on the new Xbox now, isn't it? I really wish they would like port it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna have to buy like a PS3 copy, which I don't know how much that goes for, because I refuse to play it on Steam. If I have the console in question, I will play it on console. Ooh, sign? Is this gonna tell me where the dungeon is? Who knows? Head northwest to find the Bastion of Gar- Oh, it's Baskar Colony. We really went there. That sign is literally worthless. Is that, like, along the railroad tracks? I don't know if that means it's, like, near the railroad tracks or not. This would be the perfect place to put an optional dungeon. Just saying. Okay, we're, we're gonna... Apparently there's a coordinate counter here, which I didn't even realize. I'm gonna use that to see. It gives me the coordinates for this place. It's... 17695-8239, so I'm close to it. Y would be more up, right? Yeah. There's gotta be like... Oh, it's probably across this crevice, maybe. Thank you. Oh, these encounters are stronger. I must be in the right place, maybe. There it is. Let's go. Gamer moment. Secret garden. There was a place called the Lost Garden in Wild Arms 2. I don't know how much side content we're doing in this game, but my focus is the main story. <laughs> As it is with all the Wild Arms games. But we'll, we'll, we'll dabble in some side content. I'm, I'm mostly focusing on the story, and I just feel like from doing Wild Arms 1 and 2's side quest off, like, off screen, and not off screen necessarily, but doing it only for YouTube, I just think it's better to like research stuff beforehand and know what I'm doing, because Wild Arms, the side content in Wild Arms is usually hard to find, so I just, it makes for a better viewing experience. It's also easier for me if I just like do it for YouTube only, just because like I know what I'm doing and since these games are so underappreciated and there aren't many playthroughs of them, people looking for playthroughs on them are like, oh yeah, how do I do this? <laughs> they can watch my playthrough and be like, oh, that's how you do that dungeon, or that's how you find it, that's how you fight that boss, etc. I just think it's it's better, I just think. Howdy, what a pretty field of flowers. Did you grow all this? But that doesn't mean we won't dabble in some side content for stream. We definitely will. Oh, did I say something rude? Given I find it, that is. Hey, don't worry about it. Communication is the name of the game. Silence is gold and gallows. Besides, not everybody just blurts out whatever pops into their head like you. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to intrude. Show us your flower sometime, okay? Okay. What the? Hey. You want something? Speak up already. So much for silence being golden, right, Jet? So what's the matter? Um, I want to ask you a favor. Is there something we can do? Well, my flowers are crying. Corrupt soil in the north. Corrupt soil in the northwest has been tormenting the poor flowers. Soil corrupted. What the heck is that supposed to mean? You can't tell by looking at it, but the flowers told me so. Yeah, yeah, okay. So you're requesting we investigate the cause of this phenomena, is that correct? Finally, why didn't you start at the beginning with our reward? Classic Jet. Hey, you got 10 Hewberries? That's amazing. Hewberries? Wait a sec, these things grow here? Well, if you're giving this to me, I'll just go ahead and pocket it. What? It's a deal. The corrupt soil is to the northwest, right? Let's go have a look. Now hold on a minute, how can you jump into a deal without fixing the reward? 
Okay, Virginia's smile is so funny. I'm impressed. You did quite well. What the? Now what do you want? Thank you. My name's Florina. My flowers thank you, too. They're ha they're so happy you're nice. Whatever. Call me nice again and you'll regret it. Oh, he means it. Jet has a gun and he's not afraid to use it. Jet is the only character that would actually, like, even think about using a gun on a child. Probably. Out of, like, these four characters. Oh, duplicator. Nice. F13's around 13 or so and all games aren't that expensive? Nice. I am absolutely buying physical versions then. The only time I play on Steam is if I have no choice, like Trails in the Sky. So I have my PS3 because I play, uh... I hope and pray for the day that they port the Tales of PS3 games. I'll do FF13 probably sometime next year. I, don't, I think it's safe to say I'm not doing it this year, but maybe, probably next year. Definitely next year. I'd honestly, like, wager next year I'm going to do it. But really, I don't have too many Final Fantasy games to do. There's only... There's a few more main lines. There's very, really not many left. I believe it's just 3, 4, and 5, and then the 13s? I think that'll be all the main lines. Also, Northwest... To, like past this field. Oh hey ambush. Oh no not an ambush. Just apparently oh okay. Apparently I just don't have enough to skip whatever this encounter is. You're so close to 25 and then you can extend at the beginning or extension at the beginning of fights. I keep calling it extend because with Lilka it's called extend. With Gallows it's called extension. Basically the same thing, but different words. I'm not downhearted. I don't even know what that status helmet does. I most likely only have time for one more Final Fantasy game this year. Maybe two, depending. I don't know the next one I'm doing. But I have time for one, maybe two more of this year. So it's safe to assume 13 is happening next year for sure. Get wrecked. Oh, I got a dragon fossil. Dragon fossils just drop from random enemies, I guess, very easily. What heals down hardy? I should have whatever heals down hardy. Oh, down hardy doesn't stay after battle. Oh, no, it does. Maybe I don't have whatever heals down hardy. I find that very hard to believe. Misery? Oh, is misery down hardy? Oh, it's called Misery in this game. Wild Arms 2, it's called Downhearted. They switched the status ailment names. Oh, hello. Yella? Don't mind if I do. Oh, you, you have to be off the horse for some reason. I don't even know how much I got. I just pressed X too fast. You said soil. Is it here? Oh, yeah, lo and behold. It should be... The Decaying Labyrinth. There's a boss here. Oh, we'll see how that goes. I want to actually slap Dark Ward on someone else too. Take this dark ring. So hit me up with a save. Hopefully this boss isn't too hard. I'm probably gonna use a lucky card too. 